Okay, everyone. So let's look at a few more optimization problems, uh, slightly more complicated, but nothing we can't figure out together. So a rectangular poster is of area 6,912 centimeters squared. So let's draw this out. So we know that this in here is 6,912 centimeters squared. Now the side margins is 8 centimeters each. Uh, and top and bottom margins are each six centimeters each. Okay, so imagine there is a secondary area in here. Basically, this is saying that this is eight centimeters, and the top and bottom margins are six. Now, this is not to scale, so. Uh, Please dis disregard the actual sizes, <laughs> um, but this is just to give you an idea, right? The poster is the entire uh, square in this blue-green color, but the printing area is what I'm hashing out right now, okay? So we need to find this maximum area, okay? So we know we're looking at area, we're not looking at perimeter, and we know that we need to make sure when we optimize that we're taking, we're setting this uh, equation of the area to zero, okay? But everything has to be written in one um, variable. So let's, let's start this. So we know, let's assume that this is W and this is L. So we know area is length times width. In this case, it's equal to 6912. But we also know that since we don't have we don't have all the information here, we can use this printing area to our advantage, right? So we know so the area uh, of the poster, so AP was that, and then we have the area of the uh, printing. We're going to call it printing area PA is equal to. It's not length times width. It's length times width minus the margins, right? So if we're looking at W now, the new W is going to be W minus 12. Do you see that? Because we have six and six, right? Multiplied by L minus 16, because we have eight and eight. So that entire L over here, you're gonna to have to subtract two eights from it. Okay, so now we have the area of our poster and we have the area of the printing area. So what we're trying to do here in this case, are we working with the area of the poster or the printing area? It's the printing area, right? So if you look at the question, it's trying to ask you to maximize the printing area. So you're going to need to make this equation in terms of one variable, not both W and L, and you're gonna to need to take the derivative of this and then the second derivative in order to confirm that it is in fact the maximum. So let's use the area of the poster to our advantage. So let's say we want to write everything uh, in terms of uh, W in our equations. So let's, let's do this. So it'll be W minus 12 into L is what? So if you rearrange this guy, L is equal to 6912 over W, right? So L, 6912 over W minus 16. Perfect. Now everything is in terms of W. So let's work on this together. Let's expand this. So if you have area is equal to W minus 12 into 6912 over W minus 16. So I'm going to just remember how you expand everything. I'm just going to do it very quickly. Move that down. So you're going to be left with 6912 minus 16w minus 82944w minus 1. Remember, the minus 1 means over plus 192. So now, if you take the derivative of this, because we're trying to find the maximum, you're going to be left with minus 16 plus 82944 over W squared. So 
Again, this goes to zero now. This goes to zero. And this, since this was a one, this goes away. It's just a 16 that's left. And you multiply a negative one with a negative, it becomes a positive. And you have to subtract another one. So that becomes a two, right? So if you set this to zero, basically, if you rearrange this, you're going to be left with W is equal to the root of 5184, which is equal to 72. And we already know from previously that L is equal to 6912 over W. So that means that L is equal to 96. So now we have the dimensions of W and L. It'll be very easy for us to get the maximum printing area. Remember that the equations over here, the printing area is uh, W minus 12 into L minus 16. So if you just plug in W and L, you're going to have your printing area. That's the easy part, right? But we, what we want to make sure is, in fact, that this is going to be the maximum. And in order to do that, then it has to be greater than 0. So if we take the derivative again, you're going to be left with... So minus 16, 5, 8, 8, 0. So these are big numbers, so make sure you keep track. And you know that it doesn't matter what you plug into W, that's still going to be negative. So therefore, since this is, it's actually equal to negative 0.44, but since this is negative, it's less than 0, then you know that this is the maximum. So now you know that these dimensions, w is equal to 72 and l is equal to 96, those dimensions are going to give us the maximum printing area. So the question is finished.